Chang Ma. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Right. Well, obviously we're in the shop. Um, it is awful out there today. It's it's wet. It's lashing with rain. We're expecting it to snow hard again. Uh, but yeah, this needs must. And I literally was doing exactly what I just told you not to do and looking at the screen instead of at the camera so it looked like I was talking to the ceiling somewhere again. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, We're just getting used to this. <laughs> we're getting used to it all. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to do this. Yeah. Uh, the, the reason that we're doing this little video is not actually live, but we're recording it as if it's live because we received a parcel in the post today. And it's one that I've been mentioned a couple of times I'm looking forward to receiving. It has come from Iceland and it's the... It's the fish skins. Now, I, I don't know what is in this parcel. I have no idea. Let me just press a button over here so that you can... There you go. The parcel's here on the, uh, on the bench in front of me. We're going to open it. And this will be like a little unboxing kind of thing going on. So mm -hmm. without too much further ado, would you pass me that yellow craft knife over there, Dick? Yes, they haven't told us what's in the box. They've just sent some stuff. <laughs> yes. Let's have a little look to see in here. Turn one, no, I can do that. Just going to make sure. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. Me. <laughs> right, let's pull these out and let's. Crikey, that's a big fish, isn't it? Right. Well, that's a salmon skin. Wow. In a jade colour. Now this, this is the spotted wolf fish. And I know the studio lights are probably causing a fair bit of reflection on that. That is almost leopard skin. That's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? I, wow. I got it in a blue that's and a green. My God, that's a whopping great fish. I mean, look at the length of that. That's yeah. a good two foot long. More. That's more than two foot. It's about two and a half. That would be a bit hard to learn. Pushing, pushing on three. And this is only one half of it. If you think about it, that's where the gills are, right here, and the head. That's so the other side of the, the fish. The head would be at least that much. The head's going to be out here somewhere. The and tail. then, yeah, the tail, it does come down to the tail. Thank you. Well, look at that blue and that green. Oh, they're gorgeous. Now, this one, this is uh, the salmon skin. I'm not so fond of that because it looks very suede to me. Well, it is the unfinished. It's unfinished. It's a beautiful colour. Mm. And I'll show you what I mean, because that's an unfinished one as well. Oh. Well, I say unfinished. It hasn't got any kind of top on it. Now, I bought a load of the um, natural salmon skins. These five here are natural salmon skins, and they have got a glaze on them. They put, like, a, a finish on it, um, which obviously... You can see the difference. I did this to see what the difference is. We see, I want these for highlights in work, you know, like a highlight a pattern or something. And I think that would work really well. It would work really well. And when I spoke to them on the phone, I said that I was going to use these, solely these, to make uh, a wallet. Mm. Um, just make one wallet completely from natural salmon skins. And he suggested to actually put the finish on it, put this glaze on it. Uh, the they're all. Pretty colour fast, actually. There's a lot of uh, a lot of dye in these, but they're pretty colour fast dyes. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's just switch that around again. Sorry. So they're, they're quite colour fast these dyes, but they do actually do ones that can be washed as well. Um, you can put them through a, a cold wash in your washing machine, and the dyes are locked, so right. they, they won't come out. Okay. Um, and it's it's actually supposed to be for clothing. They market it to the fashion industry. What do they make out of it then? Clothes. What, <laughs> what kind of clothes? Ones you wear? <laughs> How the hell would I know? Okay, fair enough. I mean, come on. I know, you're not a fashion person. <laughs> <laughs> I have worn this jumper in every single live stream I've done so far. <laughs> I don't know, it has been washed. It has to be washed in between. 
but I, I've got like five shirts and two pairs of trousers, and yeah, I I, I don't know what they do do it. So they do actually make it. They they can like get a bunch of these and sew them together like this, mm. and make a, a flat sheet to make it easier for people to make items out of. And that is a service that they offer, so you can have them all like nice and flat like that, um, yeah. which I thought was a really cool thing, but not just yet because I wanted to have a look at them. They're bigger but, than I expected them to be. Well, it sounds a damn big fish. But thinking about it, that one's going to be hard to make a wallet out of because it gets thin so quickly. Well, this is why I ordered five of them. Yeah. That makes sense. Because I knew that we'd have a slightly larger fish like this, and, you know, that's an even bigger fish there. That one you'd get a lot of. That, that, that one I can get quite a few pieces out of, and that'll probably have to be the, the outer back part of it. Uh, yes, I knew there would be the danger that I might not be able to entirely make a wallet from one of these, but I should be able to get the majority of the parts out of it. Yeah. Um, just with my templates. So the wallet templates I'm using at the moment... You see, uh, uh, oh, you that's not a piece out of it. Well, that's the RFID bit, but you see, but there's the bigger one. Yeah. I'll get a wallet out of the house there and a wallet out of there. But you see, down on the narrower parts, I can still get mm. you know, the I need two of these to make one yeah. wallet, so I can get that out of there and out of there. So I've got the two wallet outer parts I need for the note, note pocket there. I've got these two pieces that I need, and then I need four of these. You well, get them out of I can get bit. them out yeah. quite easily. One, two, three, four. And I've still got two skins left over. Depends how you want to do the colouring of it, though. Well, that's the thing. Because now yes, we can because, see that it's light and dark. Yeah, you have got a difference in the colour, uh, which is where having a dyed one will help. Yes. So this is something to note for the future as well. Um, having the dyed one, so that's a solid colour right the way across, isn't it? Hmm. Is that what's on the other side? That's that definitely the scale side, and that's the... Well, yes. Point. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I, I re-angled the camera so that Luke could actually see, you could actually see Luke's head. So I have to stay seated. I have to sit down. <laughs> yeah, because we're so much difference in height. <laughs> I'm six foot three, and you're five foot... Five foot six. Five six. Yeah. Mm. So quite a height difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't smell fishy, it smells leathery. It doesn't smell fishy at all. It smells like the dye that they've used, I yeah, imagine. Yeah. But yeah, that's. I'm blown away. I mean, I knew what natural fish would look like. I knew what that would yeah. look like. But those wolf fish pieces. Wow. Are <laughs> stunning. Yeah. Let me just switch back to, the, uh, to that camera. I'll move these out of the way. Yeah, look at that. It's a big old fish, too. Could you make a belt out of that? Maybe laminate it onto another piece of leather? Yes, that could be done. That would be amazing. Yeah. Maybe that's what they mean for clothing, that sort of thing. No, actually, they, they did have pictures of um, some clothing that have been designed and made on their website. And it was a T-shirt that somebody was wearing. Or a shirt. Right. It wasn't entirely made out of the salmon skin. It was like a section, but it was all kind of weird and fashionable, kind of funny angle things. The kind of thing that you wouldn't ever see me wear. Probably wouldn't even be right. made in my size. Like I said, I'm six foot three. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of made for those tiny people they used to. You know, the stick figures. The stick figures. Yeah. The ones that could do with a good meal. <laughs> Bit of good old home cooked food. Give them a bit, a bit, a bit of fish. <laughs> Give them a bit of some protein. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So those could be used. And then scraps of things, even tiny scraps, could be used for key rings and stuff like that. Yeah. So you can use almost. Oh, I'm going to be able thing. to use all of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a more a case of when I actually get around to being able to do a lot of this. Mm. I mean, I could easily use this as the outer part of a wallet yes. that's still made from leather. Yes. You know, you don't have to entirely make the wallet from this salmon skin. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it with those salmon skins, the natural salmon skins, as more of a showcase. 
Yeah. You know, this is what salmon leather is. It'll this be is a lot thinner do. and a lot more flexible. Won't it's it? going to be a lot thinner, but mm. there was a lot of information on the website about uh, the strength mm. of the leather. And even though it's quite thin and quite light, it's almost as strong as beef hide would be. Really? You know, it's a bit like spider silk, you know, mm. pound for pound is stronger than steel. Yeah. Well, the salmon skin is stronger or as strong as beef hide. Right. So technically it should be able to have the longevity. Mm. Well, that's why I started to try and incorporate it into those wallets. Because I'm trying to make them thinner. Which is, yeah, yeah, it's a great idea. Uh, all, all, these, all these wallets I see coming out of Amazon and places like that that are made I don't really want to knock the design work that people go through and the, the, what companies are making. What is affecting my thoughts here is a, a comment that when we very soon after we made the website live, actually back at the beginning of the, the first lockdown, yeah. um, there's, a, there's a contact form on our website on the front page and somebody um, used a spoof email address and sent me a comment saying that I really needed to check myself you know, for the money that I was charging for the wallets that were on the website. And that's part of where the idea for this channel started to come from. It's like, because this guy's comment was along the lines of £50 for a wallet is ridiculous, he said. <sighs> uh, sorry, our computer screen just gone blank. <laughs> there we go. Because <laughs> we're recording this, I hope. Are we still recording this? I just think, yeah, yeah, we're still recording this. Good. That's good. Um. Yeah, he, he said that he could go out and buy a designer wallet for less. And I thought, well, yes, you can, because those designer wallets are made with, inf with I don't want to use the word inferior, they're made with much, Cheaper. much thinner uh, material, mm -hmm. much thinner uh, leather. They aren't entirely made from leather. There's often a lot of fabric mm -hmm. involved. And they're mass-produced as well. And they're mass-produced. They won't be hand-sewn. They, they will be mass-produced. Not at that price, no. And not at that price, not for less than 50 quid. Um, because what you've got to remember is that they have to pay a wage, they have to pay for the materials, they've paid someone to design them, they've paid for them to be shipped from whichever country they're made in, so they won't be made in the UK. Um, they'll have been made in a country, you know, I don't want to be derogatory, but it, it could be somewhere like China, Thailand, anywhere like that where they charge less or possibly don't even have a minimum wage requirement on, you know, by law. Mm. All of those things factor into a price, and that's probably why they can do it for less, because they'll ship it all over in a big container yeah, and then be able to flog it off. And that kind of highlighted to me and made it clearly evident to me, along with the other comments, because I mentioned in my last video that I do know other crafters and they've had the same problems, mm -hmm. where prices have been... Um, Laugh back when they've been asked asked for, and yeah, and I think we have had the same problem. Yeah, people yeah, do. don't understand how much work has gone into making them. Um, they think, oh, it's just a bit of fabric, um, and they just won't pay for the time that has been taken to make them. The experience um, that you've had to spend a lot of time learning that sort of thing and you're not just sitting at a sewing machine feeding a piece of fabric into it it's no. actually a lot of skill in using those machines it's the main reason why i sew by hand because <laughs> <laughs> so i really don't like sewing machines they terrify me <laughs> yeah and i hate hand sewing so we're right there yeah <laughs> but that in itself is the one of the reasons behind this channel and lou's going to do a similar thing with her channel Although largely at the moment we weren't expecting to be in lockdown for quite so long and hoping that the schools would go back in February when they're not anymore. I'm mostly doing schooling at the moment. Lou is mostly doing homeschooling and I'm I might do mostly something. running the business. Um, yeah, I might stream something, but I haven't really um, got there yet. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I mean, yeah. if we can find the time for you to do it, then it would be a good idea, I think, because from your crafting point of view, I think it would be a really good idea. Mm. As I get, I say again, oh, a way yeah. of highlighting it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm blown away, particularly by the spotted wolf fish. I mean, those salmon hides are fantastic. Weren't you saying that they're ethically produced, or they're byproducts? Yes, that's right. Um, the salmon and the wolf fish are harvested mm. for the food industry, and in Iceland, obviously, they get a lot of them. But uh, when I was looking at the company, um, 
produce these Nordic fish leathers. I looked at the, I looked through all their website and looked at their information, and there's even a little, uh, little Google map of where they are, and they are basically within a few miles of the refinery for the fish, where where they where they process them. Mm. So the catches are coming in out of the out of the sea, out of the ocean. The fish is the fish skin is a waste product for, to the fish food industry. Yeah, and they're buying it off of the. Uh, off of the fishermen, off of this company, and then they're using um, geothermal electricity. A lot of Iceland is running on geothermal electricity. That would make sense, yeah. So any electricity that they're using to produce this is geothermal. Any hot water that they need, they're getting from the local geyser, not the uh, right. geyser down the pub kind of thing, the, the <laughs> hot spout of water that's coming the up. Geyser out. or geyser? Well, it depends if you're American or not, I suppose. Mm. There's different ways of pronouncing it. I, yeah. I like to call it a geezer. Fair enough. I don't really know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's the thing. They're, they're using any hot water because there'd be a lot of water used in the tanning process. And the, I've tried tanning myself, and, yes, there is a lot of water involved. And by tanning myself, I don't mean sitting in the sun. I mean, actually, the process of tanning leather hide. <laughs> or turning a hide into leather. Um, I've tried it, and it does involve a lot of water and a lot of chemicals, but these guys are using uh, oil or veg, veg tanning processes, so there's no heavy chemicals, there's no chromic acids, uh, nothing like that that's, that's as anywhere near as harmful to the environment. But at the same time, they aren't spending lots of electricity mm. on their process. They're not heating water up unnecessarily. They're yeah. just basically scooping it out of the ground. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Definitely. That's the way to do it. And not only that, <laughs> these guys are just like us. They're outside the EU now. <laughs> yeah. So I don't get any supply chain issues. <laughs> yeah, that would help. I actually looked at the parcel tracking for, for this parcel, and it left Iceland yesterday. It took 24 hours to get here. But it also went via Germany, so I'm not quite sure how that works. Time differences do help because it would have lost a few hours here and I lost a few hours there. I guess all the times that were logged were local. Yeah. Because it took less than an hour to get from Germany to the depot here in the UK. Yeah. And I'm like, no. Are they <laughs> an hour ahead of us at the moment or are they two hours? Two hours would make, make sense. If they were two hours ahead of us, that would make more sense, especially if they came by plane, cargo plane or something. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, I was damned impressed. It took 24 hours to get here, basically. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. Amazing. I couldn't um, believe the colour because that was the first so one that popped out. The blue one. The blue one was the first one that popped out, wasn't it? Yeah. Followed by the green. I, I think they probably packed it like that on purpose. Well, they do know that on their website, they do know, they say that these colours really are quite vivid and with the markings yeah. of the fish itself as well. I wanted him to get purple. But then that's just me. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of leopard print stuff. Mm. Um, I mean, but this is slightly it. different. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe something made out of that. People look at this, the salmon skins, and they will quite often think that they're snake leather mm. rather well, than fish leather. Like, yeah. um, I do actually have a piece of snake skin. Oh, do you? Somewhere. Yeah, I do, but it's buried over there somewhere, uh, so I won't right. be able to find it easily. Yeah, it looks very similar. But I think this is so unique. It's really individual. Well, the, the snake skin leather, actually, when you look at it, yes, it does have this kind of scale pattern on the top. But on the underside, the scales change shape because mm -hmm. obviously they have a, an elongated one that goes across the width of their body. Right. And that's obviously what they use to grip. Yeah. You know, because uh, it's just a physical difference. Hmm. But yeah, that's yeah. I'm going to have to. Obviously, I've come up with an idea for the, the natural skins, and I believe that I can do that. Possibly with three instead of five, but that's great because that just means I've got two more left over. Yeah. Well, yeah. The more you can make out of it, the better. Yeah. I mean, I should be able to do at least two outers on a wallet. So maybe I'll just do the outer part of a leather wallet with hmm. the skin yeah. instead of doing the entire wallet with it. That would be an idea. But the spotted wolf fish yeah. is actually going to go a lot further because I've got a lot more of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
I could probably get two or three watts out of each one of these. Mm. That's brilliant, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. Mm. So look for, looking forward to those, I, I will obviously, as well, I, I meant to come in on Saturday into the shop. Today is now Tuesday, Tuesday the 19th. Um, I meant to come in on Saturday to photograph the uh, Sporran and put it on the website. I haven't managed to do that yet because I completely forgot to bring it with me to work today and got vetoed going to the shop on Saturday by someone. We have family time. Three days. <laughs> Because we're closed on Sunday and Monday. Yeah. You can tell it's not used to staying at home with Emmy. Yeah, I've just been <laughs> I've just spent two weeks at home over Christmas. It's like chomping at the bit. Can I get out of it and go in the shop? Go make things. <laughs> Chewing the edge of the door. <laughs> Let this is out. why I'll be coming in to do something every now and again as well. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do things. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this has gone on for like 20 minutes now, and this is just supposed to be a quick unboxing. So <laughs> let's, uh, yeah. let's pop this. I hope you like also. it. Um, and look out for some of the experiments he's going to do with them. Yeah, well, I think the first thing to do is make a wallet out of that natural, yeah. natural skin. Yeah, uh -huh. I can't wait to see what that looks like and what it feels like. like, how... Yeah, I mean, soft it is. I mean, that side is obviously quite sweaty. You don't yeah. actually like the feel of sweat. No, I'm not going like to touch that. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is that is not sweaty in any way. No, shape or form. I mean, touching that, that is it's not sweaty. It's a uh, it is a leather. It's, it's leather. Smooth. It's smooth leather. Yeah. Dare I say, almost plastic in the feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the, na the other two coloured skins they, they are very suede on both sides yeah I'm not you're, sure you're not I really going want to touch those yeah but they are quite there's a, there's a bit of stretch there isn't no there? not really, it stretches that way it doesn't stretch that way at all oh, okay. it stretches this way which is understandable mm -hmm. really because the fish needs to flex in that direction not in yeah. that direction true yeah so that, that Sorry, I didn't come up on camera at all because I was in the wrong place, but it doesn't stretch that way because the fish flexes this way. So it's more flexible that way. But in some places, it's more flexible than others. So the closer I get to the tail, the less flex there is. You know, there's hardly any movement down the end of the tail here because oh, it's denser. Interesting. Well, that's what leather's like. That makes sense. I mean, you do that with a cowhide, you'll find that it flexes more over the joints on the shoulder and the rump. And, or... <laughs> Let me see if I get this right. No, Flex is more on the flank, actually, where it's softer, mm. down here. Yeah. And that's why they sell shoulders and um, things like that. Separately. Separately, because it's, then you've right. got a bit more consistency over the piece that you bought. I didn't know that. We were trying to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for watching. Thank you for uh, tolerating our ramble. She's, she's just as bad as me. She does ramble. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, it's the end of the day now, so I'm going to go home. <laughs> so are you, I presume. Yeah. Let's go home to our daughter. We left her watching TV with Grandma. Yeah. Um, I'll get something made with these. Yeah. Maybe come in tomorrow. See we'll show you soon. I probably won't actually do a live stream of me making a wallet because you've already sent that times now so i'll just show you the item that i have made from it um what will my next live streaming video be do you know what i don't actually know i need to work this out don't i um i'm tempted to say the start of the waistcoat but i'm not entirely sure i've got all the materials i need for that we'll see what you've got then well i've pretty, I've pretty much worked it out i don't think i have enough old oh. materials i've got enough to do the outer but i need to do the inner first Mm. I don't have enough of that, so we're kind of in that limbo stage where we're waiting for the government to tell us whether or not we've got any money. We'll have a think mm. about what we can do. Yes, so I'll have a think about what mm. I can do. Maybe wet forming or carving, uh, you know, tooling, leather, something along those lines possibly. Any suggestions? Yeah, there's that too. Or maybe even just make another one of those 
uh, not the Sporran, but either the kite bag or the book bag mm. um, from that series. Make yeah. another one of those because they are reasonably easy. Uh, I say reasonably easy, relatively easy for my skill level anyway, <laughs> which isn't exactly great. Uh, <laughs> It is, I can do fine. it. I can do it, basically. <laughs> I'll be able to do it. And Stop rambling. Yeah, I'll do that too. Bye!